up loves welcome back 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 to my channel 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 as with every install i am starting with a few cornrows and gelling my natural edges back with some eco styler gel now i am applying my got to be glue gel and this is like my glue and my tape that's gonna hold down my wig as we all know this is the yellow one but i prefer the black one just because it dries quicker and it's not as messy as this one i find that this one is extremely messy and it takes forever to dry and it comes off really quickly when I'm sweating. So if I'm working out, I cannot use this, wear my wig for more than a day. So just keep that in mind. Now this wig guys, this wig, oh my God, I'm so in love with it. I worked with them about two years ago. I did an install with their deep curly hair and it was just a wig that I made. And I absolutely fell in love with that hair. So I was really excited when they reached out to me to try one of their wigs. This is a lace front wig made from their loose wave hair and this is 20 inches. So circling back to this install, we'll talk more about the hair later. Now that I have the hairline of my wig laid down, I'm just grabbing a scarf and tying it extra tight around so we can really get this thing secured. And after I have this on for about five to 10 minutes, I give it another press, because again, you can never be too safe, and just remove that. Now this gel, Again, takes forever to dry. So if your gel is not dry still, just pick up your blow dryer, blow dry it a little bit, get that all dry. So your wig would be nice and secure. So before my wig was installed, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I just played around a bit and I really wanted to show you guys just how great it looks. So we just gonna see me play around until I figure out what I wanna do. But man, oh man, can you guys see this? So what I did, I tried a new method for tinting my lace and bleaching my knots that is super easy, like no bleach, no mess. And it only took 10 minutes. So if you wanna see how I bleach my knots, just give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. Now we have to add some baby hairs. I only do baby hair right in the front where my hair will be parted. I'm just very low maintenance. I don't like laying my edges and just having them around the entire hairline. It just doesn't sit well with me. And all I'm doing is taking some of that got to be glue gel to lay them down. Do not use Eco Styler Gel when you're laying your edges. Always use whatever got to be glued gel you have. And if you do have to use Eco Styler Gel, make sure you use hairspray. And that is key to make your edges last all day. So I am the most bootleg wig installer ever and I'm very lazy with it and I'm proud of it. Um, this is like my top tip. So if you apply your wig and you can see the lace of your wig, showing on your hairline. Just grab some waterproof mascara, make sure it's not one that you use, just a spare one, and just go around and brush that on the hairline of your wig and it will be undetectable. I know I, I missed a spot right there, but again, I'm bootleg, so I low-key don't care. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna wear my hair down and just, you know, no style at all. So what I did is just grab the blow dryer to lay the top of my hair. Just do this, I wouldn't recommend using like wrapping lotion or mousse just because that'll just make the hair messy and you don't want a lot of buildup and this can get your hair like very straight with just a blow dryer, you know? Now I decided I wanted to be different and do braids because whoa, this is the first time like my knots are hidden, my lace is tinted and this wig is installed and it looks like my hair. <laughs> so I wanted to do some braids and of course it's Black Panther season still so I wanted to do some Something that was very very like festive and a lot of braids and also Coachella is coming up so I thought this would be an amazing hairstyle I'm going to Jamaica and I know if I was wearing a wig I would want to have some braids up in it so yeah I got you guys I was thinking about y'all so all I'm doing is cornrowing parting and braiding and to keep the ends from unraveling I'm just taking these like clip jewels that people usually put on like box braids, just taking that and clipping the end of the braid so it doesn't unravel. And I'm just repeating this process. If you don't know how to braid, just go to that search bar, search for cornrow tutorials and get to practicing. That's what I did. I would show you guys how to braid, but this video would 
take forever. So if you want me to do like a tutorial on how to do like cornrows, regular hanging French braids, um, pineapple twists, bantu knots, whatever. If you want a video on all those, you know, standard technique, just thumbs this video up and leave a comment down below. And of course I'll get that to you guys. So after I applied these braids, I wanted some more jam up in this look because it was just too basic. So I just added two more of those jewels on the braid. And then of course I was like, let me keep going with it. And I added two clips on the side just to pull my hair more the way that I like it to sit on my head. As you can see, I decided to add another jewel at the end of those braids because they did start to unravel a bit too much. And I absolutely loved what Tutu did when she did my lemonade braid. So I thought, why not? Let me go ahead and do it. First time doing it and it turned out so well. As I'm finishing this last braid up, let's get back into this hair review. Out of all of the curly wigs I've had, this is my fave. It's the first time I was able to get such a natural looking install. The lace front is the perfect density, so no plucking was necessary. I'm bootleg and I'm lazy, so I absolutely hate plucking and I'm an over plucker, so this is perfect. Um, this hair is freshly washed, conditioned, and air dried, and it's still incredibly soft and just look at that curl pattern. It's beautiful. I know a lot of times after I wash hair, the curl pattern looks crazy, but this time it was like reverse. It looked crazy when I first got the wig, but then after I washed it, it looked absolutely beautiful. Um, when I did wash the hair, the water ran clear for the most part, so that means that there was no dye in it at all. There was a slight smell to the hair, which is usual when I first unboxed it, but now it smells just like my natural hair because I use the products that I use on my natural hair, and that is good because that means that this hair is not chemically treated. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you aren't a part of the XO gang, it's so easy to join. Just hit subscribe and turn on your notifications and your fam. And it's nothing but love over here. Um, don't forget to thumbs this video up if you enjoyed. And let me know down below in the comments, like what are y'all thinking about this loose wave 20 inch 150 density wig from DY77 here? Are y'all feeling it? Are y'all feeling it? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.